probably uh, 80, 90 percent of the world's oceans are totally unexplored. Uh, we know more about things on the moon and in space than we do uh, 10 miles off the coast of uh, California. To be able to go down to places like the Marianas Trench that are 30,000 feet or more and see life forms there that we've never seen before would be a, a kind of a great thing for science. Current submarines don't go anywhere near that depth. We're developing the technology similar to uh, what un unmanned aerial vehicles are doing in the air right now. You're fighting tough environment there. The ocean wants to squeeze you into nothing. Nobody's trying to crush a satellite. There's no uh, radio communications uh, like an airplane has. You can't get in touch with an underwater vehicle after it leaves the surface. I'm not gonna receive GPS signals. There's no map. I send it from point A to point B. If it encounters a mountain range or a trench or something along the way, it has to be able to figure that out on its own and not run into it. And that's another area of technology that we're developing, that obstacle avoidance. People want to use UVs for different applications. An ISR uh, job, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance, doing a survey in the Gulf, things like maybe cracks on the bottom of the ocean floor, uh, volcanic plumes, uh, things like that that may be able to help uh, geologists predict earthquakes and life forms and uh, plants and things like that that uh, man has never seen before. Maybe there's some medical benefit to, to those things. Those are things that uh, a man underwater vehicle can do. We're just not content to, to sit back and say, ah, oh, it's the ocean out there. I see the top of it, that's enough. We want to know what's down there.